Uh, you are part of the breakdown or the setup team. Uh, set, stand up for me, please. Come on. Down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now make your way up to the altar. Glory to God. If you're not a part of this church, just excuse us for a moment. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Y'all face me, okay? Come right over here and face me. Because we're going to decree and declare some things, okay? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all face me, okay? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It felt good not to have to break down yesterday, right? Over 500 pieces of equipment are moved every Sunday. Put up every Friday, and some taken down, the Red Cross stuff, and put back up, uh, you know, every single week. Right after service, these people work hard. Yes. On Fridays, they come right here from work, come in their work clothes, and they get to work for a couple hours. But we decree and declare yes. that those days are about to come to an end. Yeah. I said we decree and declare that those days are about to come to an end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, some of y'all part of the set up a breakdown team. I don't know why y'all didn't come up here, but no, it's okay. They, they could just stay there and be disobedient. It's fine. When we, 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 we move, they gonna stay here. All right, praise the Lord. Come on, come on, come on. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Go ahead. Come on! Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Lift up your hands. Come on. Let's make this declaration. Congregation, stretch your hands towards these people. This is for you too, but we just gonna, these are the hands and the feet of the church, just as you all are, but these people are very important. Why? Because they come in every Friday and they set the tone for the entire weekend. If they come in with attitudes, the enemy is gonna be able to have his way in here during the weekend services. These people come in with joy, they come in with pure hearts and hearts ready to serve. And what they're doing, they're not coming and just doing some work. These individuals are coming in here and they are worshiping. They're worshiping. That's what God's instructions are. When you're serving, when you're being obedient, you're worshiping. So Father, we thank you for these people, these hands. We thank you for these dedicated hearts, these faithful hearts. And Father, we just ask you to just stir up the gifts that are on the inside of them. Place a word in them, Father. Give them the ability to hear from you and speak your word so clearly. Father, may these people who serve in this specific ministry of our church, who have served faithfully over the past year and the years before, may they stand as, as one day as testimonies, testimonies of what God has done in this house, in this ministry, as we continue to advance the kingdom of God and speak to nations, Father. May this house that you built that you build, Father. And use these laborers that are in this congregation and in this ministry. May we be completely rooted up and built up in you. Father, send along some more help. Send along some more ideas. We thank you for the ability to come up and set up this tabernacle every week, God. We even thank you for the ability that even in the midst of this hard work that you've given us the opportunity to have fun while doing it. To enjoy the work, enjoy the labor. And Father, when we step into that new building, when we step into that new building, God, oh, Father, you've already designed the place, you already designed the building, Father. From the parking lot to the steeple, Father, it's already done. May these people be able to look back at the years serving. At the years of blood, sweat, and tears. Be able to say, look what our God has done. Look what he's able to do. May they know without a shadow, without a shadow of doubt, God, that when they're faithful over a few things, 
that you'll make them ruler over many. So we thank you for enlarging their territory. And may they know that both you and the leaders and all the members of this house are so grateful for their dedication. May they never wonder and worry and think about if they're just being pushed aside or their dedication is being unnoticed. May they know that they are appreciated and loved. And most importantly, may they know that their Father God in heaven is so pleased and so proud. We thank you in advance of what you're about to do. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Congregation, can we give this team of people a round of applause? Hallelujah, hallelujah. We can see it, we can see it.